Let me get this right. You want to pass a law to draft my daughter to send to another one of your foreign fucking wars for something you created so your arms manufacturers can make more money for your banker friends. Did I get that fucking solid right or not? Now, wrong, elephant breath. My daughter will not be joining the military any way, shape, or form unless it's to fight this fucking war that this government has started against its people. See how simple that is? The very fact that you don't understand the societal fucking rules about women and children, let me school you a little bit. Now, the fact of the matter is you can't make your fucking recruitment numbers because your recruiters told so many lies like, oh, yes, you get the condo on the beach when you join up. Oh, you get to start here, but we're going to switch you to what you really want later and the biggest boner up the ass the va will take care of you if you got hurt hey the reason you can't meet the recruitment goals is because these young men have already voted with their fucking feet they're not going to fucking fight and the fact that you think you're going to get the women to fight let me put it to you this way it was one thing when you oppressed us with unbelievable fucking taxes one thing because we were living in nice homes and still eating pretty good it's another thing when you spied on us to the degree that you did and made us realize that we don't have any freedom it's another thing when you not only wrecked the fucking economy but you fucking did it in such a way where you spent so much fucking money that went to special interest groups that the people never had a chance to benefit from it and now when you have people that are homeless eating canned goods out of the back of their fucking car you know what they may do that for themselves but they're not their kids are not going to go through that motherfucker you're going to find out what people will do for their fucking children you protect women and children because it's a societal norm it has nothing to do with being sexist or unequal in any way the fact is you should always protect people that are weak of themselves and always stand up for the right fucking thing. And the right fucking thing here is, if my daughter is going to be in a war, she's not going to have to go to a fucking foreign country to fight it. Fuck your taxes. Fuck your withholding. Fuck your FEMA. Fuck your IRS. Fuck you. Fuck your corrupt Congress. Fuck your corrupt presidents. Fuck your entire election process. You know, I could go on forever, but let's face it, the world's not going to live that long before a fucking meteor solves a problem for us. So... Fuck you, and if anybody doesn't like what I'm saying, you know what you can do. If you do like what I'm saying, give me a hell yeah in the comments, because our women aren't going to fight a fucking war for some corrupt fucking government. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double honors to my apostle, Elder's great mill, son of a well. peace and salutation, all the honor and pushing this truth for the righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, shalom. It's your brother, Tatum Underbar, coming back through the spirit and power. How about you, Yahweh Shai? And I just want to do a real brief lesson, just showing you that Babylon agree. It's fallen, man. This place is done. Everything you see around you is falling before your eyes. The people are waking up to the bullshit. They're seeing that this government's corrupt, and they're seeing what the hell is the roads lead to, man. And it's leading to destruction. This Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. And that represents America. The dust represents state of confusion. What you're seeing going around Babylon the Great, man. It says, sit on the ground. There is no throne. Why? Because you're being Esau, Edom, the Edomites. What you see before you, they're being dethroned. America's being dethroned, man. All the nations are casting this place down. And it's really just the Lord just doing what? Putting a transition of power that's taking place. It says... It says, O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Why? Because all the witchcraft and all the sorcery goes back to Babylon. The Chaldeans are witches, your warlocks, your so-called Freemasons, your the ones as political leaders that set up in offices now. They work for the, the 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 globalists. They're the ones behind the scenes that's orchestrating what you see before you, all these wars and things like that. They're the ones behind the scenes. And it says, For thou thou shall no more be called tender and delicate. Why? Because you're seeing that America is about to be drafted into another war. And he's complaining about his daughter getting drafted, which is going to happen. But at the same time, you got foreign troops on the land of Babylon the Great with this Title 42 exodus, with this Title 42 expiring. Now you're seeing an influx of so-called immigrants, which we already know that's just the U.N. nations coming in America. That's nothing but a siege. That's the Trojan horse. It says, take the millstone, grab the mill, uncover the locks, make bread a leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. And that's what we're doing, man. We're exposing America for all the wickedness that it's been upholding and doing for a long time, man. And you see that now. That's what you see going on right now, man. And it says, 
It says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet that as a man. Because what is happening right now, the Lord has is, is gotten the spirit on these damn Edomites and other nations to expose America for what it is. It, even with the prophets on the highways and hedges, we use these video clips and things like that for edification purposes to show you that the prophecies are being fulfilled before your eyes. And that the Lord, what did the Lord say? He's going to take vengeance and not meet you as a man. Because while the Lord is, he's watching this place, man. Zechariah, the fifth chapter. The curse that goes for the house of the thief. That's the chariots. The chariots, the so-called UFOs, are watching this place. They're and they're 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 showing the the uh, what's about to take place. Cause it's the Lord, man. Let's grab this real quick. Isaiah chapter twenty-four, verse ten. It said the city of confusion is broken down, and that represents America, man. City of confusion, man. Cause nothing in America is nothing but confusion. It's broken down. It's broken down economically, physically, and spiritually, and it's done. And it says that every house is shut up that no man may come in. Because what's, what's happening? They're gradually crashing this place, man. Crashing the economy, doing all these various things to, to bring forth the chaos so they can usher in the order. And it says there's a crime for wine in the streets. That's why you see they're trying to come against us with the propaganda so they can lead to the persecution. But that's going to lead for a famine of the word because the word represents the wine. Amos 8 and 11. That's what you're seeing. They're gradually trying to get us out the highways and hedges and bring forth demonization and agents to link us to all this bullshit they're pushing. And it says, all joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. And you see that. All the joy in the Babylonic grave has been dark. And all you see is people are oppressed and talking about they can't afford to pay their bills and things like that. Showing that the Most High is gradually crashing this damn place, man. Let's grab another, let's, let's, let's watch another clip. I'm sick and tired of people portraying an image like this is the greatest country of all time and that we will never fall. I'm here to tell you, listen to what I'm fixing to say because America itself, aka Babylon, is fixing to fall. But Ryan, we have more guns in this country than actual people. We'll never fall. You mean the same country where people are working three, four jobs and working 100 hours a week to not even get by anymore? They're damn near next to homeless. Oh, you're talking about that country where everybody's on some type of medication. You can't even turn your TV on without seeing a commercial of some type of medication being shoved down your throat. You talking about this country? Not to mention this country so full of hate now. You've got men hating women and women hating men and the black man hating the white man and the white man hating the black man. There's nonstop hate. The government knows. Which that's just the Esau hating Jacob, man. And that's just biblical, man, and which he don't understand. You got to take the meat out of the bones when you watch videos like this. That. United we stand, divided we fall. And right now we are beyond divided. I call it the three Ds. Distract them, you drug them, and you divide them. And the whole country's over with. And that's what the Lord said, because the Lord said, thank that I come to send peace, but division. The Lord is dividing this place up. That's why the Lord said, if Satan be divided against itself, how can it stand? And you're saying that these Edomites are divided amongst themselves, man. And a lot of you Jake's going to get caught up out there in this bullshit, man, trying to uphold a, a kingdom that was never meant for you, man. That's why the scripture say, ride you in the park, because this is not your rest. It will destroy you even with a sword of destruction. And that's speaking on Babylon the Great, man, because these Edomites, they're complaining about their kingdom. We, hey, you Jake should be rejoicing at the fall of this damn place place, man. Because the scriptures say, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of How do we get it to here, man? Slavery, slave ships, man. Genocides of the northern kingdom. Why the hell would you want to uphold a society that was ne never meant for you and beneficial for your nation, man? Fuck this place, man. But Ryan, how is America going to fall? Pay attention. You infiltrate their country with quote-unquote illegal immigrants. Thousands, if not millions of them. And you place them strategically all throughout the United States. When in reality, they're United Nation troops waiting on an order. You label them on the news as illegal immigrants so that nobody in their country freaks out when they realize there's a whole nother military in our country right now. And then they create a major event such as a government bombing one of our cities or saying that somebody is attacking us. And then they're gonna round up our military and deploy them to another country. Not to mention, they're gonna create a draft and round up every last patriot they can find who would swear to protect this country and everyone in it and they're gonna deploy them to another country. Once they do this, it's easy breezy. They deploy the United Nations troops to go door to door, such as they done in the 1940s and all throughout generations, governments have always destroyed their own people. They know- And he's right, and he's right, man. And that's what they're gonna do, man. Let's jump straight into it. The second edge chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. And woe means destruction. 
destruction has come upon the shores of Babylon the Great. The scriptures say they should go to the unwild villages that dwell without care. That's speaking on America, man, because no, there's no borders. And it says, for the sword and the destruction draw up not, and one people shall stand up against another and swords in their hand. And that's what's coming. It's going to be people fighting with swords in their hand, talking about guns and all types of shit. It's going to be, it's going to get crazy out here very, very soon, man, because people ain't going to have no food supplies. It's going to be lack of food supplies, all various things, because why the bitches shall fail. Everything around you is failing, man. And it says, for there should be sedition among men invading one another. They should not regard their kings or princes, and of course, their actions should stand in their power. And that's what's going to take place. People are going to be putting the power in their own hands. Man. They ain't going to give a damn about their, their presidents or their political leaders and governors and mayors and shit. They're going to be trying to get it out the mud to feed their families, man. And that's what's going to see the uproars, the chaos, the protests, the riots, all these various things you see what's going on in other nations. That's coming here, but it's going to be worse, man. Because America, all these damn citizens and people, they have guns. And that's going to create nothing but bloodshed. That's what they want. They want to create the, or the chaos to bring forth the order. So you best believe some type of major event is going to take place so they can usher out these damn foreign troops, these sleeper cells to come do what? To control the uh, the chaos, man. But this is all strategically planned. It says the man should desire to go to the city and should not be able. Why? Because they're going to put garrisons up. They're going to put these uh, roadblocks up to, to keep you sectioned out with certain kids, cities and counties that you can go and cannot go in, man. That's what's coming, man. You see it on all the apocalyptic movies. That's what's coming. And it says, because of, it, it says, for because of the pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. And he said, the man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall store their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. And that's what's coming, man. It's going to be a doggy dog world here in Babylon the Great very, very soon. And what are you seeing right now? You're seeing the, the, the sorrow starting to increase as you go in Matthew, the 24th chapter, man. You're seeing the sorrow starting to increase more and more before the Lord really let Esau eat him, bring forth the hammer and crash this bitch, man. So with that, you know, I've arrived as our Lord willing this lesson was edifying. Just something quick through the spirit. Just some, just wanted to get something up through the spirit just to show you how these devils can see that their society falling. So what most of you niggas, man, because Babylon the Great is done, man. It's over, man. Shalom.